Hey there, Epic family. Shout out to my Fire family. Welcome to Cook with Coach. My name is LaVondalyn Watson Sand Kids. I am also known as that Fire Coach. And as you know, I coach entrepreneurs of faith. I help them to achieve what I call supernatural success. I help them to build their businesses around their gifts and the skills that God has given them. Well, sometimes I coach back to back all day long. That makes for a very long day and sometimes a long night. So the last thing that I want to do when I get home is prepare an elaborate meal. I do not want to make a big meal when I'm tired and exhausted. And on those nights, in comes Epicure. I love the Epicure meal solutions because they are fast, they are easy, and they are good for me. My husband and I love to make these meal solutions and I also love to bring you into my kitchen so that you can watch me make these meals in 20 minutes or less. That's because you may want to do the same for your family. Perhaps you too are a working mom or you are an entrepreneur building your business and you've got to take care of the kids and the husband and you've got to do all the things and sometimes time does not allow. If that's the case, you are going to love these recipes. You are going to love the Epicure meal solutions. You are going to be grateful just like my husband and I are grateful. So welcome to my kitchen. I'm excited to have you cook with coach. Now today I decided to do something different. Why? Because last week I hosted a cooking class and so many of the ladies in the class told me that they are tired of eating the same things over and over and over again. How many times can you eat chicken, right? <laughs> So I decided to do something different to give you an idea of different things that you can do in the kitchen that may be a lot different from what you're used to. So today we are making red Thai curry. Yes, I love a good curry. I love anything Indian, anything Thai, anything with eccentric and different spices. I want you to try this recipe because I think it's going to be a blessing to you. If you're tired of chicken and you're tired of eating the same rice and beans and you're tired of all the things, we're going to take you out of your comfort zone today and into another culture. I love it. So today we're going to make this red Thai curry. Now, what I have done is I have gone to the farmer's market and gotten all kinds of beautiful organic produce. And so we're going to remix this. You know, I love a good remix, right? We're going to remix this red Thai curry by adding tons of veg in it. And we're going to serve it as a soup instead of actually serving it over rice. Now, the other thing is if you're used to eating chicken or you're used to eating beef all the time, I have some sustainable sea bass here. It's frozen. I have cut it into chunks. We're going to add that to our curry and make it a seafood curry. Listen, this is going to be loaded with flavor, loaded with protein, loaded with veg. It is the perfect meal and it's going to come together in 20 minutes. So are you ready to cook? Let's do this. Of course, always first things first, we want the pan waiting for us and not the other way around. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to use our Epicure steamer for this. I'm going to actually steam down all of these veg in the microwave for a few minutes so that it'll save me some time before I add it to my curry. So we're going to use this steamer. As you can see, the Epicure steamer is a silicone steamer. It is food grade silicone, safe up to 450 degrees. So you can actually put this in your oven as well. It is dishwasher safe. It is freezer safe and as you'll see today, it can go in the microwave. Now it's got the steamer tray inside, but we're not gonna use the tray today. We're just gonna cut up our veg and put them in the bottom of the steamer. No water needed, no oil needed, right? We're just gonna pop it in the microwave for about five or six minutes. We actually don't need it to cook all the way through because it's gonna finish cooking in the sauce. So I went to the farmer's market this weekend and like I said, I got tons of organic veg. 
Now, I love going to the farmer's market and buying vegetables and aromatics and all the things because during the week, I never know what I'm going to make for dinner, but I can always pull one of these Epicure meal solutions out of the cabinet. And as long as I've got produce and protein in the fridge and in the freezer, I can always make something and I can always make it fast. That's one of the things that I love about Epicure is it doesn't require a whole lot of ingredients. Almost all of what you need are gonna be in those handy little packets. Now, I know what you're thinking. Anytime you see packets, you normally think, okay, that's not good for you, right? It's loaded with toxins. It's loaded with all kinds of bad things for you, but not in this case. These are packets, yes, but remember, Epicure has that never, ever list, meaning there's never, ever anything bad for you in these packets. There are no artificial flavorings, no artificial colorings, no, no added MSG, no hydrogenated oils, no artificial sweeteners, right? None of that bad stuff. And so it is all good and good for you. And you simply have to add your protein, your veg, and I'm telling you these meals come together so fast. And so I have literally just diced up some red pepper, green pepper, some yellow pepper in a really thick dice because again, I'm going to pop those in the microwave just for a few minutes. Now I also have a white potato here. This is a golden potato, which means it's creamy, it's waxy, it's going to cook down really, really well. Now, I'm leaving the skin on just because there are a lot of nutrients in the skin. And so when I make mashed potatoes, especially with this kind of potato, I typically would leave the skin on just for added nutrients. But if you prefer to peel it, you certainly can do that. Okay, so I'm going to put these potatoes also in my steamer, right? Easy peasy. And the last thing is I have a corn that I have already uh, sliced up. Now, I don't know about you, but I grew up a country girl, right? My family actually worked on the farms, and so we would always have fresh corn. I remember shucking corn with my grandmother and, you know, snapping peas and cutting okra and all the things. I, you may have some of those memories. If you don't, you missed out. Country living is amazing living. <laughs> so I miss it. I miss it and I miss my family. God rest their souls. And so I have the steamer here. It is now full of veg. I'm going to pop this into the microwave for about, mm, I'd say five or six minutes. Again, we don't need it to cook all the way. We're just going to allow it to steam for just a little bit because I'm going to eventually add it to the sauce where it'll continue cooking. Perfect, so that's in the microwave going and it looks like my pan is getting hot. And so let's see what the recipe on the back of the pack says. Here's the good thing about Epicure. It's always so easy. The recipe, if you can see, is written in the back. Everything that's in bold is what you're gonna actually need to make the recipe. There are some remixes here on the bottom. It, it tells you that for this curry, you can add uh, chicken, you can add shrimp, you can even add tofu if you're vegetarian or vegan. I've decided to add fish to this curry because I love a good Penang curry and I love it when it's loaded with seafood. So it also gives you all the vegetable choices. You can add bell pepper and carrots and snow peas, celery, whatever you have on hand. Now, that's the beautiful thing. Although there is a recipe on the back, you can remix it however you choose for you and for your family. Maybe your kids like a particular vegetable. Maybe your husband, like mine, doesn't like vegetables at all. <laughs> so you can make it to the needs and to the sensitivities and to the likes of your family. Speaking of sensitivities, you can count on anything, any allergens that may be in these packets to be highlighted on the back of the pack. So if your kids are allergic to say coconut oil, like I am, or you know maybe peanuts or soy or whatever the case may be, it will always be noted for you on the back of these packets so that you will have a heads up before you make any meal solutions. I love that Epicure not only cares 
service, but they make it super simple for you to get meals on the table for your family. Now, this sauce comes together really quickly. It says to combine this seasoning with one can of coconut milk, which I have here, in a wok over medium high heat. It says bring it to a boil and reduce the heat and simmer for two minutes. I'm going to do just that. So I've got some coconut milk here, and I'm going to go ahead and add it to my pan. Yes, that's nice and hot. I love that sizzle. That's what happens when you have your pan waiting for you and not you waiting for it. You should see this spice mix. It has so many different spices. The colors are so rich. It says it's got red bell pepper, spices, organic coconut palm sugar, sea salt, herbs, garlic, ginger, lime leaves, cayenne pepper. Ooh, there's gonna be a little kick in there. It's gonna be so good. Again, we are making the Thai red curry. Just a little switch up from your normal chicken and beef, right? Just something different that you can put on the table for you and your family. Let's whisk up this sauce and make sure that it's nice and creamy so when the vegetables are done, it'll be ready. Now, that's already whisked and coming together. It's going to thicken up over the next two minutes or so. Now, in the meantime, the vegetables are in the microwave. They are steaming in our steamer. I have got some sea bass here that is sustainable, already cut into beautiful chunks. We're gonna add that to the sauce so that as the bass begins to cook, that nice fish seafood flavor will cook into that sauce. This is going to be so good. While those things are happening, you know I'm a huge fan of plating up you know really well and really nice and so I have a scallion here I'm gonna go ahead and slice this scallion so that we'll have something pretty to put on top when it's all done as I always tell you it's important to make sure that your meals look amazing when you put them on the table. Take the time to make them look pretty, to plate them up nice. You and your family are worth it, amen? I also have some sweet peas here. These are frozen and I just pulled them out of the freezer. We're gonna drop these into the sauce at the very last minute. Now you don't wanna put your frozen peas or frozen corn if you're using it. You don't wanna put them with the vegetables in the microwave to cook down or you don't wanna put them too early in the sauce because then they'll just turn to mush, right? You want good texture on your veggies as you eat them. Now, while those vegetables are going, I always talk about the meal solutions, right? I always show you all the different meal solutions that you can make. But today, I wanna to talk about our spices and our dip mixes because Epicure has so much to offer. Now, I wanna share with you, this is the new Southwest Ranch. I am a ranch girl. This is a ranch household, right? But you can make your own ranch because you never know what's in those bottles that you get on the grocery store shelves, right? They may have been, you know, on those shelves for forever and you have no idea what's in the back, what's on the list, that ingredient list in the back. Remember, there's so many things that you can't pronounce and so many things that you don't know where they are, where they came from. You always want to go with something that is clean. And so with our ranch, you can make it yourself. Literally, you will take, you know, a couple of tablespoons of the ranch seasoning that has all of your typical ranch seasonings, right? Dill and garlic and onion and all the good things. And you would mix it with some mayo and some sour cream and you have the perfect ranch dressing. Now, we also have dips. As you can see, this is guacamole. Now, maybe like me, you are not a big fan of avocado, but if you love avocado, and you love guacamole, you can literally make it up yourself. You're just gonna mash some avocado, put some seasonings in there, you know, add a little lime juice, mix it up, and you have the perfect guacamole for your tacos and your salsas and all of the things that you wanna eat, right? It's the perfect snack. Now, you can also use the seasoning in other things and not actually make the dip. That's what I love. Again, you can remix all the things. 
And so we've got poco picante, which is also perfect for salsas. You cut up some tomatoes, add some poco picante in there. You have the perfect salsa for your chips. We have a teppanyaki sauce and a lemon dilly dip. There's so many different things, different seasonings that you can make right at home. Listen, the goal is for you to make these things easily and simply at home. So you don't have to always go for takeout and you don't always have to buy what's on those grocery store shelves. Again, you wanna know what you're putting in your body and what you're serving to your family. So if you would love to order any of these seasonings or any of our meal solutions, I'm gonna include the link for you in the description and it's also at the very bottom of the page where it says order meal solutions if you are on Cook with Coach. Dot com. Now, I heard our vegetables go off. Let's go ahead and add them to our sauce. Perfect. Those are perfect. So I'm going to grab my fish and we're going to drop the fish into the sauce so that it can start cooking. Go ahead and stir that through. Oh, it smells good already. And I'm just gonna add all of these veggies to our sauce. Now, what else does the pack tell us to do? Once we have added in our mixed vegetables, it says to stir in one half of a lime. And in this case, I don't have lime, so we're gonna use a lemon. And it says one teaspoon of low sodium soy sauce. And so I have a half of a lemon here, and I also have our citrus press. Now, I know you have a citrus press at home, right? Yes, you have to have a citrus press. They are so convenient and so amazing. No one has time to fish out all the lemon seeds, right? All the lime seeds. No one has time to look for seeds in there. It is the hardest thing in the world to remove a seed. It's just like trying to remove eggshells, right? It's impossible. <laughs> and so we have a citrus press here that allows you to press both a lemon and also, if you see the green, it allows you to press a lime. So you can press any of your citrus fruit into your drinks or into your meals or into your sauces right directly in the pan without having to strain or without having to, again, fish out those pesky seeds. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna press this half of a lemon into our sauce. I'm also going to add the peas and a teaspoon of soy sauce, just like the recipe says. Now, for the soy sauce, I'm gonna use our four-in-one spoon, which allows you to measure with one measuring spoon. Now, I know like me, you probably have the rings that have all of the different spoons and all of the different sizes. That drives my husband crazy. Don't tell him I told you, but he always fights over, is it a tablespoon, is it a teaspoon, how much is it, is it a half a teaspoon? He doesn't know the difference. Well. This makes it easy for him. It's a four in one spoon. It's got the tablespoon on one end, the teaspoon on the other, and on the back, it also has a half and a quarter teaspoon for you. So easy, right? So let's get these into the pan. Oh, that's thickening up nicely. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of the soy. And we're going to press in the juice of a half of a lemon. Easy. And then I'm going to add my peas now because, again, you can add the peas at the end of the cooking process so that they don't go mushy on you. It adds such a beautiful bright green to the sauce. Oh, look at that. Nice.
Perfect. So we're going to give that just about 60 seconds or so. You do not want to overcook your fish and your veggies are already steamed. And so you really just want that sauce to become even more flavorful now that you've added the acid from the lemon and the deep, rich umami from the soy sauce. So we're going to let that go for just about 60 seconds. And that's it. You have a beautiful stew that has a little kick from that cayenne pepper, right? You've taken your family from wherever you are in the States all the way to Thailand, right? All the way, you know, to India, all the way to all of the places where curries are huge and curries are a part of the culture. And trust me, you are going to love this. It is spicy. It is rich. It is flavorful. It's going to be amazing amazing, quite different from the chicken or the beef that you're used to eating. So maybe you are like those ladies who were in my cooking class that were just like, I'm ready for something different. I'm tired of eating the same things over and over and over again. If that's you, Epicure has so many solutions for you from Mexican food to Italian food to Asian food and to Indian or Thailand and all of the other flavors from that part of the world. Listen, trust me, if you want a culture change, Epicure has a solution for you. So again, go to the website at cookwithcoach.com and do some shopping, spice up your pantry just a little bit. Take your family on a trip without ever leaving your kitchen. Okay, so let's plate up. I'm excited for you to see how beautifully this came together. Yes, all those potatoes, beautiful peas. I want to get another corn in there, some fish, lovely. Done. So I've got this bowl here. It smells amazing. I'm going to add just a little bit of scallion. You guys know I'm a scallions kind of girl. <laughs> and I'm going to add some parsley dried. Nice. And that came together perfectly. Now, of course, I'm going to show you a beautiful picture at the end of this video so that you can see just how amazing this meal is. It smells so good. It's full of spices, full of flavor, and it is something different that you and your family can enjoy. So I look forward to you joining me for yet another Cook with Coach video where I will bring to you dinner or lunch in 20 minutes or less fast food that is feel good and good for you. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. Thank you for cooking with Coach. I look forward to seeing you in just a couple of days. And in the meantime, go ahead and fill up your pantry with all of these Epicure meal solutions. You will love them. I'll see you soon. Take good care and keep cooking. Bye.